Good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody had a fabulous day today. And before we get into today's exciting lecture, please hit that subscribe button and hit my notification button. Support and subscribe to my channel. And I really do want to thank everyone for blocking out time to uh, watch my videos and support my channel. So with that being said, let's get down to today's exciting lecture. The focus of this lecture, and I've uh, done my research on this, and I'm very excited to do a lecture on Anita Baker, ladies and gentlemen, rural. I'm sure the rural has heard, now is in ownership of her master recording catalog. Yes, you heard it correctly, and I, I love Anita Baker. I've been following Anita Baker since I was in high school. And I'm taking great pleasure with this upload. And I've done the research. I've been following her, her battle with the music industry to claim ownership to her master recording catalog. So Anita Baker, the songtrix, is now in ownership of her master recording catalog. So let me explain a little bit about the groundbreaking significance of this. As an artist... Owning your master recordings gives you the legal rights to freely maximize your money-making opportunity. And before, before I go any further into this lecture, if you are an independent artist or an up-and-coming up artist or an existing artist, pay attention. So with a master recording, you can license the record you're recording to third parties like such as TV shows, films, commercials, or even for sampling use by other artists, screaming, and the list goes on and on. Now, since Anita Baker, because she now owns her master recording catalog versus the map versus the record label owning her master recording. Now, since she is in ownership of her master recording, she can now make all of the money whenever her music is used in TV shows, films, streaming, commercials, or even sampling used by other artists. When people buy her music, Anywhere in the world, ladies and gentlemen, that's power. You know, for artists to own their master recording, that's, that, that, that doesn't happen unless they got the smarts to make sure it happens. Anita Baker has two adult sons. She will now be able to leave her sons and her grandkids and great-grandkids and great-great-grandkids generational wealth. By owning her master recording, the, the generational wealth, she can now truly pass it down to her sons and grandkids and great-great-grandkids because she now owns her master recording catalog. Anita Baker has always, I followed her music and I've done my due diligence, Anita Baker has always stayed true to herself. She's a true legend. That she's a true legend, and Anita Baker really is, is a trailblazer. I listened to an interview by Anita years ago, and Anita once said, quote from Anita, they, meaning the record label, meaning the industry, the record label asked me to wear a blonde wig. I refuse. Anita said, end quote. And for listeners who don't know what the blonde wig symbolize in the industry, because it's sinister, send me a comment and I will break it down to you in terms of what that blonde wig symbolize in the industry. Because yes, there's a sinister side to the industry for the ones who are weak will and go down that path. Also, if the audience can remember, Anita left the music business at the height of her career due to record dispute. 
pay attention. Anita Baker, the legend, only does things on her terms, so we need to learn from her. Independent artists, existing artists, up and coming artists, pay attention and learn from Miss Baker. Anita did not sell her soul for fame and glory. She maintained her faith in God and she reclaimed her entire master recordings catalog. So pay attention. And, and when I say I got a lot of her music, not she reclaimed her master recording uh, catalog, I'm here to tell you. So now we can start listening to Anita Baker music without uh, because at one point she told her friend her fans don't listen to my music don't buy my music don't scream my music because she was battling the industry for her master recording well now she has her master recording so now we can play Anita music and buy her music while we clean the house when we just want to sit sit home and relax yes Anita Baker has her claim ownership to her master recordings. That's powerful. And this here is one of my favorite. This going way back. Way back in the day when she sort of first started out with this particular album right here, The Songtress. And Anita, before she became well known by Anita Baker, you know, she was born and raised in, in Detroit, Miss, Michigan, and she used to play in a band called Chapter 8. Check that out. Do your research on that. And, and like I said, this is ground groundbreaking. And I'm here to tell you, if you are in the music industry, and if you do not own or retain your master recording, you're giving away all of that money-making opportunity. You're giving, a, giving away generational wealth. The label company will get, get, get all that money, and I'm here to tell you. So with that being said, I hope the audience got something out of this in terms of Anita Baker now owns her master recording catalog. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, send me your comments, support and subscribe to this channel. And also, I just want to give my audience and my followers and my viewers the heads up. You know, as you all are aware, I got my book, uh, Awake Financial Freedom, in publication. That book will be hitting all major bookstores in the rural. And the, and, and, and the, con, the concept of that book is I'm going to dug deep and go chapter by chapter and, 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 and educate the reader in regards to how I ascended from financial destruction to total financial freedom in all areas of my life. So with that being said, Simple Fire, Simple Fidelis, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'm going to leave you in the care of your own conscience. And Anita Baker, I want to personally congratulate you for reclaiming the ownership of all of your master recording catalog. Simplify, Simple Fidelis, you all have a great evening.